Hello everyone, welcome to this part 22. So uh, in this video, what we're gonna do is first thing we're gonna fix uh, one little bug I just uh, see uh, just by uh, recording the next video. And also uh, we're gonna check about using fragment and you're gonna see how awesome is that. So first thing we're gonna jump on the fix, it, fix the bug. So uh, first thing, the bug is if I add here, a tweet and I click tweet I'm gonna get this kind of error here uh, as you know it's because the update query and stuff like that gonna have some uh, error one of the first thing it's inside a new tweet screen here of the uh, on the optimistic response we're gonna need to add the is favorite to be false so it's false by default it's just been create and also what we're gonna do it's inside a create tweet we need the is favorite back So if we do this, now if I add a tweet, hello world, and I tweet, now I'm gonna get missing a field uh, is favorite, blah, blah, blah. It's because inside my subscription, because you know, like I get my uh, my data coming in from the, the subscription, I need to add this thing too. So is favorite. So we should be good with just this thing now. But this kind of stuff here, it's gonna be removed because of the fragment. You're gonna love it. Like that. Now you see, now it works. Perfect. So fragment here. So uh, here I'm gonna put this link in the in the description. But fragment is a piece of uh, code you really need to understand to make your code easier to work with GraphQL. Sorry. And uh, and this thing is about uh think about fragment as almost like a component for your query so what i mean by that it's as you see here in the example they have created a fragment called name part who's gonna be on the person type who's gonna have first name and last name so here when they get the person they're gonna always need to have example first name and last name so what they're gonna do is they're gonna spread inside the query dot 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 name part plus avatar. So if you understand this part, what's gonna happen is this query now, gonna receive first name, last name, and also avatar. So you see? So uh, you can reuse some fragment, blah, 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 and this is what we're gonna do. So all we can do this, it's all, as you can see here, we have this thing here, text ID, create that, blah, blah, blah. And we have the same uh, here. And also we have the same here. <laughs> and we have the same here. So now what we can do, it's going to my feed car and I'm gonna create my uh, fragment right inside my feed car because remember, this feed car is the component we're gonna receive data. So I think it's a good place to put the fragment because now you can say to your component, this is the kind of props I need. So when I, when I fetch, I always take what I need. So I mean by that, it's the feed car is the thing we'll make uh, the get tweet and blah, blah, blah happening because we need that for, for showing here. But the thing is, if I put that in this feed car component and I make it as a, as a fragment for him, by doing this, what's gonna happen is, example, if I want to add example, a title, I want to have maybe, I don't know, like a, uh, uh, like I don't want anymore my username, I can remove the username from my fragment. So you're gonna see right there, so what are we gonna do? So it's gonna be pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go there at the bottom and I'm gonna call the name of my component, so feed car. And after that, I'm gonna say fragment. Like that. And I'm gonna create an object. I'm gonna say tweet. So that's gonna be inside a tweet object. And now I'm gonna take GQL. I need to have the GQL coming in from React Apollo. Like that. Now what I'm going to do, it's here. Finally, I'm going to create fragment feed car so on tweet. So this is a fragment we call feed car on the tweet type. And now look what I can do. I can just go to my example get tweet and take all this stuff here. Because I need this thing on every car I have here. But by putting that here, now we know this component, this is the, the value they need from the GraphQL. So now I can save. Now nothing gonna change because I mean, we didn't do nothing. 
but how can we fi fix that? Here in this call, this is the uh, the uh, get tweet, so at the first here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my feed car, call meaning from my component folder feed car and feed car. And now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove everything from here. So now if I do this, that's going to crash. I mean, we don't have the value, blah, blah, blah. So now how can we do this? It's by putting right there. So before the back tip finishing, I'm going to do a dollar sign curly bracket. Because always remember this is back tip, so we can put variable. And now I'm gonna say feed car dot fragment dot tw uh, tweet. So that's gonna be this tweet here. And now if I do this, now I can do dot 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 feed car. So you're gonna take the variable we have right there. So now if I say Everything still work now. What you see, all this get we know it just really simple. So now we can do the same with uh, get user tweet. So now I can Im I'm gonna copy paste this one. I'm gonna go to get user tweet. So I mean this this one here. So I'm gonna paste this one. After that, I'm gonna remove all this thing. I'm gonna say dollar sign feed car that frag man that tweet. And now I can say dot 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 feed car. And now if I do this, everything should be as uh, was before. I think it's just cleaner. One sec, I don't know why my computer is really slow right now. If I go there, you see, everything's still working. So now by doing this, inside a component like that, we know then when I work here in my component, so yeah, I need all this stuff, I know that if I go there, I can create a fragment. So hey, this component need that. So this is a way for you to en encapsulate your uh, props to your component and just saying this component always gonna need this kind of value. So now you can do the same for all this stuff here because this is the same value again. So now what you can do, you just do the same thing for the query tweet. Do the same. Go there, see fit car that fragment the tweet, and now like that. And we call, we can also do this in tweet add. And now the beauty of this thing, it's if we need something else. So example, if I need to add something like example, my, I want to remove the avatar or something like that. Now what can I do? It's I don't need to go over each of my requests from here, example. Now what I can do, it just go to my feed car and remove my avatar from here. So you see, this is like, a, so you just create finally a, like a variable of what you need. So that let you re uh, reuse the, uh, re reuse your, uh, your query finally. So now if I do this, we're gonna test it. So I'm gonna create a new, you see, still work now. So, but now the code is just cleaner. If I want to remove stuff, I can remove it in one place. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's uh, it's pretty quick. Well, just to talk about Fragment, it's gonna be really important for you to read this thing. Makes so much uh, sense, and also uh, you can check like uh, if you click here, you can check their uh, example of Apollo inside the Get on React application right there on GitHub, just by clicking on some of the link right there. So I hope you enjoyed this little video, and we're gonna talk later. Have a good night. Bye.